In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a triangle using the given measurements of only side lengths. The measurements are side length A, which is equal to 7, B is equal to 9, and C is equal to 11. We can illustrate a triangle and place these measurements where they belong. Our objective here is to find all angles between the side lengths, and we can do that by using the law of cosines as well as the law of sines. It doesn't matter where to start first, so I'm going to find the angle of A. To, the, to do that, we are going to use the law of cosines formula, which in this case is a squared equals the sum of b squared plus c squared minus 2 times the product of b times c times the cosine of a. We will substitute the variables with the given value and solve for cosine of a. We can simplify it to the form of 49 equals 202 minus 198 times the cosine of A. We subtract 202 on both sides, which on the left side, we will have negative 153 before dividing negative 198 on both sides again, just to isolate cosine of A. Then we can use a calculator to figure out the angle of A by using the inverse cosine of the result after subtracting 202 and dividing negative 198 from 49. So the angle will be, and rounding it to the nearest tenth is 39.4 degrees. Now before that, let's simplify this one. So it's going to be 153 over 198 and then we can use the calculator to find the inverse cosine which will lead you to this angle now to find the angle of B we can use the law of sines in which the sine of A now the sine of 39.4 degrees over 7 so it's written as this is equal to the sine of B over 9. We are making a proportion here where we have to cross multiply and we would get 9 times sine of 39.4 degrees don't forget a degree sign equals 7 times the sine of B. We divide 7 on both sides and we would get a decimal number in which we can use the calculator again to find the angle of B. Now this time we are using the inverse sine of the result of 9 times 39.4 degrees over 7. So on the calculator it's supposed to be written like this. Now we will have the angle of B, rounding to the nearest tent is 54.7 degrees. So angle A is 39.4 degrees, angle B is 54.7 degrees. Now to find the angle of C, we can add angles A and B and subtract it from 180 degrees which will lead you to angle C is 85.9 degrees. So the three angles are angle A, which is 39.4 degrees, angle B, which is 54.7 degrees, and lastly, angle C, which is 85.9 degrees, and they all equal to 180 degrees, and that they match with a given side length if you were to use the law of uh, sines formula. Now we have found the angles from all corners of this triangle and we have completely, completely solved this triangle. 